Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Hikaru Nakamura and Samuel Shankland. This is a game from the Champions Showdown 9LX tournament. The Champions Showdown 9LX is a rapid Fischer event. Hikaru Nakamura had white pieces and he started with g4. Every move is normal in this position c6, c3, d5. People watching this game live were not sure if these moves were good or bad. e4, knight to b6, knight to e3, black to move. Are you ready to see black's next move? Are you sure you are ready? Shankland, castled, queenside. So did Nakamura. Knight to g6, d4, e6, bishop to d2, knight to f4, rook from g to e1, g5, knight to b3, h5. Is Shankland fighting on the king's side or queen's side? Just checking to see if you are confused. f3, h takes on g4. Knight takes on g4, d takes on e4, f takes on e4, f6. White to move. Should white play e5 or not? Nakamura played e5. f takes on e5, knight takes on e5. And it seems that the white knight is well placed on e5. True or false? It is true, but black can capture the knight. Bishop takes on e5, rook takes on e5. Black to move. This is the most amazing moment of the game. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Please pause and find the best move for black. Did you pause? What did you find? Shanklin played queen, takes rook. And Nakamura resigned. Believe it or not. Nakamura resigned in view of this continuation. Pawn takes queen. Knight to e2 check. King to c2. Bishop to g6 check. And the only move to prolong the game is queen to e4. But then bishop takes queen on e4 check mate. Wow! What a game! What do you think of Fischer Random Chess? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.